Yeah, to be honest, this is not a great question. I, if, if something similar to this appears in the quiz, pool, uh, test, quiz question pool, I'll make sure it's more articulate. Um, the right answer that I was looking for here is B. I have wanted you to understand that the reason why winds in the Ekman layer are uh, less than geostrophic or subgeostrophic is that this very low velocity air from down near the surface of the Earth with, with very small velocity, very low momentum, gets lifted up in like thermal updrafts and so on under well-mixed conditions, and then once it's up there in the Ekman layer, this low-velocity air gets mixed with the higher-velocity air around it, and you get an overall reduction to the amount of momentum or kinetic energy or reducing the speed or however you want to think about it at this time, just because we've taken air from the surface that was slow and brought it up there. Pretty straightforward. But like I said, to be honest, I'm not in love with the way I wrote this question either. All right, let me know if you have any questions about that, and follow the link below this video to move on to part three of our lecture.